All right, you guys, I'm on a mission. Here, let's go sit down right here and talk about the mission. The mission for tonight is to see if I can get into Boobash without having a ticket. It's been sold out for months. I'm gonna go and just ask very nicely for a ticket, basically. That's all I'm gonna do. I'm gonna see what happens. I wouldn't even think to have done this except for last year at the very Merry Christmas party. My mom and I got a ticket in Florida. By the way, we don't have one here, of course. We need to, let's sign the petitions. For a very Merry Christmas party, my mom and I got a ticket and my husband didn't. So they said on the phone to just go up and ask and they gave us a ticket. The only reason why I'm thinking that this might work is because that worked for Very Merry Christmas and the nice cast member on the phone told us that we could do so. Again, otherwise I would just be like, it's sold out, it's sold out. There's nothing you could do about it. Disneyland is different from Disney World, so I'm not sure what kind of rules they have in place here for something like this, but I'm ready to go for the mission. I'm a little bit nervous for some reason. because. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. I feel like I'm being annoying just by asking for a ticket, but it's just a question. I have to remember, I'm not really bothering anyone. All they'll do is say no, right? So let's go. Go and do the mission. Hello and good evening, my worthy friends. If you know what that's from, let me know in the comments down below. By the way, my name is Amanda, AKA The Traveling Panda. If you are new here, thank you so much for joining and clicking on this video. But tonight, I was on a mission to see if I could crash Boobash. The tickets have been sold out since they went on sale, basically. I didn't have any chance, I was at work. No chance of getting a ticket, just like last year. Uh, so I flew all the way to Florida last year to Mickey's Not So Scary just so I could go to a Halloween party. Couldn't really afford to do that last year so I thought I would just show up and see what happens. I waited in line at the kiosk over there, asked him for a boobash ticket, just one, just one little old lonely ticket to see if they could spare it, and they did. So, I'm just, I'm still in shock that I got a ticket because they were so hard to get, but I'm so excited and so happy, and she was so nice and accommodating to me, I, I just still can't believe it. So we're actually going to Boobash. So now that it's sinking in, we're gonna go to Boobash. We're actually going right now. Thank you, Disney cast members, for saving my life tonight and letting me go. Come on, let's go. Oh no, Oogie, I am totally gonna go say hello to you. I am so grateful and lucky that we are gonna go in through the gates right now. I get to see everybody's beautiful costumes. <gasps> oh my gosh, it's a bird. Mary and a tiny little Bert Jr. I'm, I'm at Boobash right now. It's slowly sinking in. I'm, all these costumes are amazing. I feel so underdressed. Look, it's Forky. Lining up for the Oogie Boogie treat trail. There's already a big line there. See, I've never done that before. The only other two times that I've been here, I didn't even know there was anything in there. I didn't know it was a thing. I know a little bit more about Disney now than I did before, back in 2011. But maybe that's where we should start. I think we should do that. <laughs> that is too funny. <laughs> Woo! Thank you, guys. I think that was one, two, three, four, five, six. Six candies? That was amazing. Yeah, 
planet.
Machines, which I love fog machines was all worth it for me it was really really pretty all the like ethereal sounding music was really cool look it's the back side of Mickey oh my gosh I'm so excited I see dip I think oh my gosh if this is who I think it is <gasps> Acme yes it is oh my god this is the best villain ever Weasels have trouble distinguishing that. Have you been to Toontown? We need more freeways built for it. Yes, yeah. I have one in mind. Yeah. No. Get rid the of only those problem things. right now is Toontown's in the way. Yeah. Once we can resolve that, then we'll be able to have my plan come to fruition. If you can find Roger Rabbit, we can bring that criminal to justice. Yeah. No. 
Your enthusiasm seems artificial, though. <laughs> Where he puts that little shoe right there in the dip, that little adorable cartoon shoe, is the worst part of the movie for me. <laughs> it always really freaked me out when I was a kid. We're gonna go ride Soren now, where the wait was only 15 minutes, and that's probably just because they need to wait for the show to end. time. What's funny is like there's just a certain group of us that's just going around in circles and getting as much candy as we can. <laughs> it's like what else are you gonna do? Oh my gosh this thing is getting heavy and I have the small bag. I see there are some smart people like this guy who brought a giant tote or this lady who has a Disney Parks bag. I should have done that. I'm a noob. All right they said final call. Oh he's mad. But I'll be cool. I would say this is perfectly full. Six rounds was what we did in a row. Pew, pew, pew. The music is very loud everywhere, so I found a little cave. Hopefully you guys can hear me. Thank you so much for joining me tonight at Boo Bash. It was such a fun surprise to get to come in here today. Thank you so much for the cast member that sold me the ticket. And it just goes to show it doesn't hurt to ask. I will say as a disclaimer, I'm sure this doesn't happen for everyone all the time. I asked pretty early in the day. It was like, I think the Boo Bash had just started. It was like 3.30. Um, they probably allow that to happen only so many times, I'm assuming. But thank you so much for joining me. You guys are the best. Please subscribe if you can. It would help me out tremendously. And don't forget to say hello in the comments. I love hearing from you guys. Thank you so, so much from the bottom of my heart. At least give this video a like if you even liked it just a little teensy weensy bit. Thank you guys so much again. I can't say it enough for watching this video, especially if you made it to the end. You should go ahead and subscribe. It's like we're basically friends now. You should just go ahead and do it. And keep watching. I'll put out another video soon about the Pixar Place, the new hotel in town. Well, new, I guess. Refurbished, remodeled, rebranded hotel in town. Love you guys. Bye. Till next time. of people who don't like goldfish in this world. It was very big in elementary school. Kids were trading it like like cigarettes in a prison or something, but I was not interested. My candy bag's getting kind of heavy. I might need to find a second one though. All that goldfish is filling it up. I don't like goldfish, but my husband does, so I'm going to be gifting all my goldfish to him. We get it. You don't like goldfish. <laughs> So the line is really huge. I don't know. But oh man, I can see myself. This always happens to me.
to me. Anybody else have hooded eyes and their makeup just sticks to the top of their hoods? <laughs> Happens every time. So I don't think they need any introduction, but just in case, that was Clarabelle, Minnie Mouse, and Daisy Duck as the Sanderson, as the Sanderson sisters. So I don't think they need any introduction. And I swear I heard Big Al earlier say something referring to Halloween time. So I wonder how often he says it. And I wonder how long I have to stay here to hear Big Al say something spooky. Let's see. Apparently too long is the amount of time you have to wait for Big Al to say something. So I stood there awkwardly staring at him for about five minutes and decided I was done. So, all right, good night.